today I'm going to turn a regular 88 note M audio key station into this black white pattern. So it's going to go white, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, 15 note scale for someone who ordered it. Getting all the screws fished out. I got that one fished out. This one. Come on, squeal. Okay, let me look in. It's I see a squeal in now. Okay. Actually go. Wait, there's two. But this one's really more magnetic. But this one is. It's not as magnetic as the other one. This, I think this one was the one I was using because it doesn't have black on it like this one. should just be able to lift it right out. Ooh, you did it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, wait. This one is really small. I think it's all right. Yeah, I think so. Black ones are more magnetic than gray ones. Black ones are really magnetic. 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 I want you to come in a tiny little. Oh. <laughs> I saw it with you, Dora. Let's just turn it over and dump it out. Okay. Turn it over. Whoa. Dump it out. Oh. Give me. Grab the top of the white plastic part and pull it out. No, no, down here. Grab this part. Grab this part and pull it up. Wait, I got this one. You got that one, that's fine. Okay, do the other one. There you go. And then one more. The little baby one. There. And then, see, now I can take this whole part off. That's just the wires that connect these musical wheels to the keyboard part. This one makes it go wow this makes it go wow 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 yeah like that they're like little batteries they are they are like little batteries they're called capacitors that is kind of like little batteries capacitors and capacitors capacitors and the pancake ones are also capacitors and the ones that have stripes are called resistors. That makes the power be a little... What are these plugs? These plugs are a whole bunch of little wires that connect the keyboard Look, I'm to the motherboard. See all the way under, I can see all these. See all the way to the other side. We go on the other side and see. Okay, go on the other side and peek at me. I'm peeking at you. I see your eyeballs. I see you. No, I can help. The keyboard needs to be held down. A bit. Up. And out. This one. So we have to do lots more. <laughs> lots more. Lots more. <laughs> you have to do lots more than I do. Okay, pinch up. it together. In up and out. And out. There you go. <sighs> so, I've taken off all the keys and I'm doing full length keys for this one. So I'm starting from the middle to make sure that middle C, what used to be middle C was here. And 
I want the start of their scale to be on middle C. So I'm starting here and I'm going up and down from there. And wherever we put a black key, don't forget that we need to remove this knob. So if there's a knob here for the white key, and now you need to put a black key, you just grab it and pull it up. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's gonna have to come off. Just grab it with your rusty old needle nose pliers. I don't know why I'm using these. And whoops, there you go. Let's take it off. I can use E's and F's and B's and C's for these two white keys in a row, but the rest of it where it's all these black keys, I'm gonna need a lot of D's and I'm probably gonna have to use some G's and A's. So there's gonna be some funny looking gaps, but it's not gonna be too bad. As I've explained in other videos, the spring attachments in regular 12-tone keyboards, pretty much any of them in the world, are not equally spaced. It's kind of a quaint setup, the 12-tone layout we have, and it only works out when they're slightly unequally spaced, so that the white keys can be even on the bottom and pretty much even enough on the top kind of weird. It's um, actually a little bit mind-bending. If you start doing these different tunings, it's not going to line up perfectly. So I put a B and a C here, but then when I try to do the same thing on the next octave, there's a, a wider gap here. So what I'm going to do is try using an E and F here, because E's are wider than B's, and there'll be less of a gap. Seven, one, I'm going to use three, four, and it will look better. So I'm just going to, you know, wait and see as I go where they go. I'm not bothering to draw this one out fully. I'm just going to do it. There, see, that looks better. And we'll see what fits in between best. I'm going to experiment a little. I've done this before where I actually made a keyboard that was completely alternating black-white all the way across. I don't remember what keys I used. Um, one might think that just D's would be best because they're symmetrical, but they would leave gaps because D's don't wrap around fully. Let me put all D's just to show you. There, that's what it looks like with all D's. Gaps, like it needs to go to the dentist. Using all A keys just shifts them to the right so that's smaller, but these are all the same as the D gaps. And then you have this horrible one. All G's would be the opposite, so really the best thing is to use all D's if you want it to be consistent and just deal with those caps. I don't have enough D's, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. I think what I'll probably do is put A's, G's, and a couple D's in the middle or something like that. It's almost done. This is as close as I can get, probably, to making the gaps even. The keys that are yellowed are going to be painted some fancy colors so that he can keep track of where he is on the keyboard. I just am missing one key. I just need one more key. I'm going to go on a search. Surely somewhere I have a key. Okay, we're good enough. There'll be a little gap here. Not much I can do about that. Here we go. We got a lot to do. Which one's all big and which one's all small? And which one's all medium? These are all big. You can use any of those. These are big? Yeah. And let's see if your pliers will, will work. I think they're a little bit too wide. Really hard. Um, you can put it wherever you want it to be. Mhm. Mm we have a lot to do. Oops. I keep on dropping it. Just pinch it really hard. Oh wait, get it back on. I can't do it. You do it. I'll go and play. You do it. <laughs> okay, you go play. I'll go play. Until you're done doing it, you can play with me.
a stick neck keys. Let me test the keys. Mommy, can I test the keys? Sure. Mommy? Hey, Bobby, you brought it. I mean, you Bobby did my pain. These two are stiff. This one and this one. Feel these, Alex. I think maybe the knob thingies didn't get taken off smoothly enough. Are these too loose? They're not loose, they're stiff. These Can you feel these? And then feel these. A little stiff, right? Oh, they're too hard to press. Yeah, let's see if we can fix it. Is that piano? Is that. Yeah, piano? it's a piano keyboard. It's a keyboard. It's a keyboard. I don't know what these thingies are called. Oh, this is why it was keyboard. stiff because these knobs that I broke off, I didn't break them off all the way. They're a little too long. Just have to get those off. That's oh, glass. Yeah. Very ah. rough. Very rough. A freaking knife. Well, it's a sander, not really a knife. Let's just sand that down. Can't seem to get it with the needle nose pliers very well. Good luck, we fixed it. Good job, high five. No, not him because it has a band aid. Oh. Now let's test the sound before we play. All right. I mean, do it. after we play. What? Aww. Oh. <laughs> you are being funny. These plugged in. All you have to do is play. Play the keyboard? No, you play with the toy. Oh. Okay, we've finished all the keys and they work great. So we've got this 50 note per octave keyboard. And I just want to show a quick comparison of kind of a situation that you might have when you have extra black keys, so a higher black note to white note ratio as compared to the 12 tone tuning. And something like this keyboard where you have a higher ratio of white notes needed for this layout. This is uh, one of the bull and pure scale modes, which is 13 notes per tritive. <laughs> a tritive is a three to one frequency ratio instead of a 12 to one frequency ratio of the octave. So. There's some really cool, crazy tunings out there, but so we run into different issues. This is 13 notes per octave, maybe one of the her most horrific tunings, but I've even heard some really amazing music in this tuning. So this also requires a higher white note to black note ratio than the normal 12 tone tuning. So if you need more black notes, you end up with gaps. That's the thing. So it doesn't look so pretty, but it's way easier to put together because you just can put the keys in and find the best ones that you can to fit. But there's nothing much to it. Whereas if you need more white keys versus black keys, you end up having to shave them thinner. So some of these keys I have actually shaved. You can see they're a little rough right here. <clears throat> shaved as in sanded. Sanded them down so they'd be thinner. Honey, I'm trying to make a video here. People that are really used to playing piano aren't going to appreciate differently with white keys, where some are fat and some are narrow. It's kind of awful. So I hope to address that issue and many more for microtonalists in the future so we can have real easy ways of rearranging our keyboards and not having to worry about all these little strange things. Huh, Alice? Bob, I can feel Bob. Oh my gosh, this video is ruined.